Hi everybody my name is Sali Ali. Welcome to Sali Tutorials. Today's video is going to be on top of a great topic. In this video I will show you how to make a face mask in a video in Filmora. Whether it's strawberries, oranges or any other fruit. You can easily create it with the help of this tutorial. If you like the video, please like it and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We keep bringing such content. So let's get started. First, open your Filmora video editor. For this you need a PNG picture of a strawberry. Any video you want an annoying strawberry effect. Drag the video to Filmora. Drag this video to the timeline after it is imported into Filmora. Now take a screenshot from this video. Now open the folder of this screenshot. Now drag this picture into Photoshop. If you do not have Photoshop, install it as you may need this software for picture editing and many other tasks. Now we also have to drag the strawberry PNG picture. Open the relevant folder and drag it into Photoshop. Apply the strawberry picture on the face according to the size of the face. Set the opacity level above the layers to 50% so you can easily see if the strawberry picture is in the right place. When the strawberry picture is in the right place, click on the tick mark at the top. Restore opacity to 100. Now click on the background layer at the bottom and press Ctrl plus J from the keyboard. By pressing this shortcut, we get another copy of the background layer. Drag this copied background layer to the top. Zoom the picture. Now we have to make a mask. Select the pen tool and select the facial area. This selection is done with the left click of a mouse. And to remove an additional note after clicking, place the arrow on the note and left click on the mouse while pressing ALT. Finally, merge the nodes. Then right click the mouse. And click make selection. OK. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus I from the keyboard which will select the area outside the face. And press the delete button which will delete the outer area of this layer. And then click on the second layer of PNG strawberry. Press the delete button and delete the outer area of the strawberry. As you can see, I deleted the outer area of the top two layers. Now click on this icon below and open a blank layer. Move this blank layer to the top track. Click the box above the color. And choose the green color in it. OK. Now click on the brush tool and select the brush tool. Select the third number here in the brush tool settings. And green the eye area like this. Also color the mouth area. Also fill the mouth area with green. And delete the second number layer, the layer called background copy. To do this, click on layer and press the delete button. 
Similarly, delete the fourth layer at the bottom. Finally, select the eraser tool. And setting the eraser tool. Select the third number in this setting of the eraser tool. Keep the opacity of the eraser tool at 25%. And also keep the flow at 25%. And rub the eraser tool on the side of the mask and make it transparent. Then we have to save this mask. Press Ctrl plus S from the keyboard. This mask has to be saved in PNG format. Select PNG in the format. Give any name for the file, I write PNG. Then press Enter and click OK. So I have mask save in this folder. Now I drag this PNG strawberry mask to film Mora. Now drag this mask to the timeline and click on the green screen tool. So you can see that the green area has been removed and the eyes and lips have appeared in the mask. Okay. There is one thing left to do. Click the video below, and click motion tracking tool. Hide the mask track. Apply this motion track mark to the correct area of the face. Before that I zoom the display. I want to do motion tracking from here. Fit the display screen. And click the start tracking button. Tracking completed. In the box that appears under the tracking button, select the PNG mask. OK. Now show this mask track again. So you can see that after motion tracking, the size of our mask is automatically reduced and not equal to the size of the face. So the easy solution to fix this is to double click on the image. And open the transform tab. And click on the reset icon in front of the scale which will restore the size of the mask. Click OK. Now set the mask duration according to the duration of the video. Just press the export button now and save the video. Click the find target button and the video folder will open. Let us now show you the exported video. So we exported this video, now let's play it. Hope this video is helpful for you. I will bring more tips and tricks videos and quite unique ways in the future. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video. And if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe to the channel. See you again with a new video. Thank you.